I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin in Don Hall with the I S U P K. And the commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy that's your brother now. You a goofy. Every black man is my brother, Negro. Every Hispanic is my brother. Every native Indian is my brother by blood. You just simple and weak. You're too weak to love your people. You're too weak. Go hug the white woman again. Go ahead, she need a hug. Go hug her. Go hug mammy. Go hug mammy. I understand that. Go hug mammy. Go hug. You from New York and you saying blacks and Hispanics saying the same thing. New York wouldn't be New York without the Bronx for them Puerto Ricans. New York wouldn't be New York without Brooklyn for the Dominicans. New York wouldn't be New York without black men. The niggas, the Negro, the tribe of Judah. You so dumb and stupid. Blacks and Hispanics are the same. The, the white man calls us Negro, he calls them Negro. Negro is Negro, it's a Spanish word meaning black. We are the same people. You're so dumb and stupid. You're so stupid. Give me Jeremiah 2 and 14. And mean black and four, five, six. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. You still ain't telling me what America mean yet. You're defending it so goddamn hard. Hey, look at that white man walking. Go hug him. Go hug him. Hurry up and go hug him. Go hug him. Go hug him. Go hug him. There's more white people. Go hug them. Say it. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is what? Is Israel a servant? Go ahead. Is he a homeborn slave? That's what he said. He said, I was born here, so I'm American. Read it again. Is he a, is he a homeborn slave? You are a homeborn slave. You are a homeborn slave. You know what that means? There's a slave who you capture and you bring to the plantation. And every day he wakes up, he wants to leave. Then there's the slave born here, who doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave. I'm an American, I was born here. Negro, if you was born in the middle of the ocean, would you be a fish? If you were born in Beijing, would you be Chinese? Ah, ni hao, ah, would you be Chinese? Ah, ni hao, you simple and stupid. You're a homeborn slave and you're useless to black people. I'm here to try to wake your dumb behind up. But you want to sleep. I ain't said I want to save you. I want to wake you up. Wake up, nigga. Wake up. But you keep pressing the snooze. The alarm going off, bop, 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 snooze, right. snooze, pull the curtain, pull the curtain, you want to stay asleep while this house burns down, well die in it, negro, die, when you're dead you can't blame nobody but yourself, cause you're a homeborn slave, a homeborn slave is worse than crack, it's worse than heroin, because you will always join us to the slave master, read, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn? What's your, what's your question? Of course he is. I just thought I was seeking clarity. I understand. You don't understand it, but you don't understand black people's culture. That's right. Black people's. This is what family does. It's called sibling rivalry. Family argues. But in your culture. When your people argue, somebody gonna shoot up the block. Right. Somebody gonna shoot up the school. I understand that. 
He is my brother. That's why we can disagree. That's why we can disagree and not murder each other, like, like your school shooters. That's why we could disagree and not murder each other like you did John F. Kennedy and shot him in the head because he, you, he did something you didn't agree with. That's why we could disagree and I don't have to take him off his job like you trying to do Trump. You trying to impeach Trump when three years ago you all were wearing Make America Great Hats. You all were supporting him. Now you disagree with him, you want to take away his money. We're not like that. We're a different type of people. I know what you're going to say, you didn't support him. I want to give him an eight inch haircut. I don't want to. I don't want to. You want to do what? You want to give him what? An eight inch haircut. A what haircut? An eight inch haircut. That's my point. <laughs> I will never want to say that. I wouldn't even think about doing that. That's right. I would, I would much rather stop my people from following America and follow God. That's right. I would much rather get my people to stop eating pork because God said so. I would much rather get my people to stop eating shrimp, crab, and lobster because God said so. I would much rather get my people to stop being homosexuals and lesbians because God said so. I would much rather get my people out of the Christian church and the Muslim mosque because God said so. Whether you impeach Trump or not, I couldn't give a damn. But you could go ahead and give him, what she say, an eight inch haircut. And she said eight inch, meaning his hair is up here, but eight inches is down here. She wanna cut him down here. Right. This is the type of people he wants to join us to. If you would do that to your own people, what would you do to us? Right. If you would argue, <laughs> big question. If, if you would do that to your own people, is Trump your brother? Why? He is from your race of people. Is he not from your race? Well, all right. And you would give him an eight inch haircut. I wish no harm on this brother, though I disagree with him. That's right. That's I pray right. he lives to the point where he could change his life that's and right, wake that's up. Right. That's right. That's, that's my desire. Whether he agrees with me or not. Yeah, right. I don't want to see a hair on his head harm, even though he's talking like he want to harm a hair on mine. I understand his anger. I understand his perspective. But I would never, ever wish harm on this brother. And I don't know him. But he is a black man just like me. All right. He is a black man just like me. In the words of Commander Johnny Hanna, that's worth something. That's worth something. But you would harm your people. What would you do to us? That's my question. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Boy, this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.